Also, something I wanted to note here is it's when you're recording in landscape, it's very easy, as I'm doing right now, to look away from the camera because I see myself here, but the camera's over here. One thing I do to try to help with this is even though when I go to end the video, you'll see my finger going to end the recording, I keep that red dot over near the camera side so that it gives me something to focus on over on that side. Um, we can go more in depth on just having a light gaze on the video itself so that you can stay locked in on your thoughts, still see whether or not you're staying in frame, but then not get tripped up or, or have that uh, brain goes blank feeling. Um, I'm gonna try to flip it mid recording and see how that goes. Yeah, I don't think it lets you flip mid recording. Um, but all this being said, I been recommending Vimeo Record for a while, and even because I have one of the older Vimeo accounts, they still keep track of that account in terms of number of gigabytes and terabytes uploaded, whereas newer accounts go by quantity of videos. So with it being a different pricing structure now, I made a free account, and what I notice is now I can do two videos a month and have up to 25 videos at a time inside of the Vimeo account. Why this is nice is that with my other account, I was maxed out on space, and one thing, and so why that's relevant is Vimeo, in my experience, when uploading from an iPhone, I can't speak from an Android, but from an iPhone, it uploads very seamlessly, quickly. It does a lot of background uploading too. So you can get a basic version of the video even when it's not fully optimized in the higher resolutions. I like having this option to be able to record two videos right into Vimeo that... Um, ideally would be my landscape videos. So I could, t I have the video in the phone and landscape right now, but ideally I would put it onto a tripod, flip it around to the other camera, the rear facing camera, and then press record and go for it. And I can, I tested this too, is even though it's two videos a month, if you delete the video, so what I can do is I can, when it's all ready, I can, download the video onto my computer and then send it to OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox, Verizon Cloud, Terabox, G Cloud. Uh, by the way, G Cloud is not Google Cloud. There's actually an app out of the UK called G Cloud, which I came across recently, which specializes in mobile backups, which is nice, since I like to record a lot of content on the phone and it's nice just having a mobile backup specific service. Um, also, I, I came up with a, a, a backup, a video backup system that I put together, which basically allows you to leverage various cloud services so that you're not leveraged by one, where if, if one goes down or is having issues, you still have your files on duplicates on multiple other cloud services. So if you want access to that system, I'll send it to you for free. Um, I might actually, I don't have it in a PDF, Right now, so I'll, what I'll do is if you see this video, DM me in all caps, storage. Actually, no, DM me backup in all caps, B-A-C-K-U-P, and then um, I'll explain it to you uh, exactly what you can do. All right. Uh, all right, thanks for watching this one, and I'll catch you. See, I'm going to, see when I'm going to turn off the recording? You see that, but I can cut that out. In Vimeo, but I can also cut it out in YouTube Studio Editor on desktop.